Good evening, everybody. My name is Rabbi Adam Watstein from B'nai Aviv in Weston, Florida, and I am APAC. Face buried in my chemistry book, I was impervious to the ruckus that defines every university dining hall. Because it was a constant noise, it was like no noise at all. And my focus was unrelenting because with every page flip of that chemistry book, I knew, I knew that I was one step closer to medical school. The pamphlet, it fell onto page 173, and I initially didn't see the culprit who dropped it. Its red and green overwhelmed my eyes at first, which had been staring at equations for hours, and it took a second or two for me to even read the title of the pamphlet. Free Palestine, it said. And the pamphlet was littered with other words like apartheid, racist state, occupation, and it included a meeting time for a group to come together and discuss not peace, not two-state solutions, but how to replace the Jewish state. I snapped my head around to see a fellow student dropping these pamphlets on every table, and people were reading them. Should I get up and start removing them from the tables? Should I rip them out of the hands of impressionable college students? Should I confront this young man? If I did, what would I say to him? I was paralyzed, paralyzed by both anger and a lack of options, but I wasn't totally alone. As I stood by my table, I locked eyes with another student I'd never met, who'd already locked eyes with another student that she'd never met. And within minutes, the three of us, three strangers, three Jews who cared about Israel, we were sitting together discussing how to educate our campus about the real Jewish state, not the one misrepresented by hate literature. And one of them, one of them referenced a crazy acronym I'd never heard before. We should call APAC she said. And I responded with one of the most important questions I've ever asked in my entire life. What is APAC? And she explained what she knew. And we raced to a phone to contact our local office, and a representative from APAC met with us that evening, and with his help that night in November of 1996, Emory Students for Israel was born. And it was born, it was born on the condition that at least one of us attended that year's policy conference in Washington, D.C. And of course, the three of us, those three students in that dining hall, we went. And as we stood in line at student registration with hundreds of other passionate Zionists and Israel activists like us, we were reminded we were reminded that when it came to battling the delegitimization or even the destruction of the Jewish state, we were not alone and we were not helpless. That feeling, that feeling of paralysis and anger that we felt watching anti-Israel pamphlets fill our dining hall was gone forever. And it was gone forever because of APAC. Now that policy conference listening to Chaim Herzog, Shimon Peres, Benjamin Netanyahu, Al Gore, Newt Gingrich, lobbying Congress, that was my personal Mount Sinai experience. It was my revelation, because it was at that policy conference in 1997 when I pledged to dedicate my life to the perpetuation of the Jewish people and the Jewish state. And I traded in my chemistry books, and I deprived my parents the opportunity of ever saying, my son, the doctor. <laughs> but my friends, my friends, my son, the rabbi, ain't so bad. <laughs> and today, whether it's when 2,000 people crowd into B'nai Aviv during the high holy days, or whether I'm sitting with just a single family in my office preparing for bar mitzvah, 
my congregation hears about APAC. And not just what it can do for Israel, but what it can do for them. How it can inspire them personally. I'm Rabbi Adam Watstein of B'nai Aviv in Weston, and I am APAC.